Yeah, so uh, today we're going to check out the new Tesla update. There's a new update where the car will stop at stoplights and stop signs. And uh, I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, so I thought I would take you guys along for a ride. We've been stuck inside for a little bit because of coronavirus, but we've gotten to the point where we have no more food. So we're going to brave the apocalypse out there and have some fun checking out the new Tesla update. Go. All right, so we're going to take a look at this new update. My car is fully updated to the latest version. It has the new navigation maps as well. So clicking car and then going to software and release notes. All right, so what's new in this update? Traffic light stop sign control. So it's designed to recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs, slowing your car to a stop when using the traffic aware cruise controller or auto steer. So this is kind of like the next step for full self-driving. I actually believe this is only with the full self-driving package. Basically, it's going to stop at any stoplight or stop sign. That includes green lights as well. And that's just part of it trying to train itself because whenever you get to a green light and you say, no, I actually want to go, that's you feeding into the system saying, no, a green light is where you need to go. And it just makes it a little bit more accurate. Stop signs, I mean, obviously you're gonna stop no matter what, same with a red light. So that's just more of a convenience feature. It already knows what a red light is. And if you look here, you can see in this little image, it has these red light symbols. That's part of hardware three. And I think hardware 2.5 also has that where it will show you visualizations of things on the road, including your stoplights now. And that's been out for a while, I think most of 2020 and a little bit of last year, depending on which version of the hardware you have. But uh, I'm fully upgraded with the hardware, fully upgraded with the software. Let's see what else does this say. So to continue through the stop line, push down the gear selector once, or briefly press the accelerator pedal to confirm that it is safe to proceed. Yeah, I wonder which one uh, people are doing more often. All right, so uh, let's go out for a cruise and test it out. All right, so as you can see, the stoplights here are red. So if I were going through that light, it would have stopped there. Um, so I'll turn on stopping for traffic control in 200 feet. So I just pressed down my foot and it let me go through. And it's telling me again, 300 feet. And I hit my accelerator and there we go. Goes through the green. So that's normal. I mean, that was already a thing, just going through green lights. Oh, here we go. So we got a red. Show them the red. Show them the red light. And we got the red coming up here. And I'm not doing anything. See my foot? See my foot? And it stops at the stop line. And that's it, I guess. Uh, so now we wait for it to go back to green. So well, part of the reason this suddenly is now working is because their visualization and their AI vision is a lot more sophisticated now. So the fact that it can detect what the stop line is, uh, let's see, so I hit down the accelerator and now it's going back up. And I'm gonna need to get over. there's another one coming up. It's interesting. You can see it from 600 feet away. Look at that. 500 feet. And I am in the turn lane. So you can also see the arrows now. That's a new thing. So this one's green. I don't think it's going to let me go through. So I'm going to turn off autopilot because I need to turn myself. As you can see here on the road, there are no lane markings. So probably not going to work here. You need to have really good markings. It, it needs to be able to see the stop line and of course the stoplight itself. 
We have a stoplight coming up here, but I have autopilot turned off, so it's not going to do anything. So all in all, I think this new feature is actually pretty cool. I've been waiting for full self-driving. So all in all, I really do like this feature. I'd like to give it a little bit more time, but I think it's a really good preview of the full self-driving that we're supposed to be getting any time now that Elon Musk has promised. We've been waiting forever since I think like 2017. It's been a while. I remember when he said he would have full self-driving going from, I don't know, New York to LA. He hasn't delivered on that, but this is what we've got in the meantime. And honestly, I like baby steps. Baby steps will eventually get us to the goal. If that means being able to stop at stoplights and stop signs, and that's about it. You know, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool a few years from now. I bought full self-driving about a year and a quarter ago for $2,000. It was a, uh, like a fire sale that they had going on accidentally or something, I don't know. But it was the cheapest price that it had post-purchase. So you could buy it with your car for like $3,000 at the time. Post-purchase, it was $4,000, or $4,000. But then it was $2,000 on sale for whatever reason. And I've been waiting forever for actual features to feel like I spent my $2,000 wisely. This is a cool beginning here. I don't think I will be using it a whole lot because one thing I would say is I don't use autopilot a lot in the city which is where you're going to be hitting all your stoplights and stop signs and actually using this feature. Am I going to turn it off? Probably not. I think it's a good thing to have on just for my own safety because maybe one day I'm not paying attention very well to the road and I miss a stoplight. And this will more than likely save me. And that's at the cost of the annoyance of having to remind it hey, it's a green light, actually, we should be going, and I have to press the accelerator. But we've been promised that that's supposed to be just a temporary measure for training the neural net to make it better so it knows exactly when a stoplight is and when a green light is. So as a safety feature, I think it's really good. But I do a lot of highway driving to go to work when there isn't coronavirus. So am I going to use it a whole lot? Probably not, but that's not out of my own choice. But yeah, this this was a nice little test drive. It's a beautiful day up here in New England. It's finally above 70 degrees. All my brothers down in the south are probably like, finally you joined us. I think it's a really cool feature and I hope everyone's trying it out. Definitely make sure that your car is up to date if you have a Tesla and check it out. So while I have you guys, Make sure you subscribe. Definitely more car videos will be coming. We'll be going to car shows and stuff, taking videos of whatever you guys want to see. So make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if you really like this video about the new Tesla update. And also subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys never miss out on any more content from Gear Gambit. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.